Hello and welcome back to PSD Touch Plus and the Shortcut series. I'm Martin Perhiniak. Today I'm going to show you how to blend and align two images together and then create a perfect sharp version. Today I'm going to show you how to turn the two photographs at the bottom into the one we can see on the top. I am going to combine several techniques together, first starting with auto align and blending options and then manual masking. First I'm going to start with auto aligning the two images at the bottom and then use masking to show both persons in uh, focus because as you can see uh, my friend here on the left he is in focus and uh, Audrey Hepburn from uh, Madame Tussauds Wax Museum she is in focus on the version here on the right so we have to combine the left side and the right side of the photographs together and once we have them together I will add an effect on top of it using a different image to make it look like it's an old photograph and I will again use masking to show the original colors of the rose so if you are interested how to create this, join me and I will show you this very quickly because it's not difficult. So let me turn off this preview in Bridge and let me select these two uh, images and go to Tools, Photoshop, Load Files into Photoshop Layers. That will quickly create a canvas with the two photographs and two separate layers. I am going to select the two and go to Edit, Auto Align Layers. I'm using auto and just simply click on OK. Now you can see the two images are aligned to each other. And if I have this one selected on the top, I can see that we will probably need to crop the image because that has the edges and it's, it's a closer zoom than the other one. So I just command click on the layers thumbnail and then I go to image and crop. So I crop down the image. Now if I turn it on and off, you can see it works much better and actually the composition is better as well. It's a bit tighter crop. And now all I need to do is to show uh, Audrey from the image at the bottom while keeping my friend here on the right in uh, focus from the layer on the top. So I'm just going to call this uh, layer friend and this one is going to be Audrey. So I am going to select my friend's layer and I am going to create a mask on it. So I click on creating a mask then use my brush tool, set the color to black and keep the uh, hardness uh, on 0%. Okay. And then I'm going to start drawing over her until I get her completely in focus. Okay. I can draw over the rose as well here. And I just need to make sure that my friend's shoulder will be visible from this layer. Okay, so I just draw over the rose as well quickly. And here in the background, we might have some issues with the alignment of that pattern. But we can always draw over my friend's arm and try to align it together. If we don't succeed, we can use the eraser tool and just erase back or use a white uh, brush with the uh, uh, white color with the brush. So I can just go back and draw, draw it back until I don't see uh, misalignment problems. So here I can zoom again closer, make sure that the cigarette is still visible from the image in focus and then I can draw over him. Actually, I can see that I have a bit of problem here because I am using not a completely white color. So now I just switch back to white and I can draw over it again. Something like that. It looks better now. So using masking, if I uh, show you without the mask and with the mask, I managed to get the details from the layer below, the Audrey layer, and these details on the right from the layer on top. And because they were aligned, it was quite easy to match the two together. So I've got rid of the blurry details from this image and now I have them in focus. Okay, you can imagine using the same technique for bigger group shots where you have lots of people 
and you align all those images then you will probably be able to create a perfect group shot by just using masking the same way I did here and get everyone uh, right everyone's face right because of course with group shots you will always have some people blink or look away or just have a funny face on on the photographs so probably above four or five people it's very difficult to catch or capture a perfect group shot so this technique can be uh, really good for that and now i would like to add that final effect the vintage effect which will be again very simple i am going to drag and drop this image into uh, photoshop turn it around okay and place it here on the left drag it out like that and then i can set the blend mode to multiply or experiment with other blend modes uh, probably the best would be to use this in overlay but also use a, an adjustment layer if i go to the adjustments and choose black and white and also choose tint then we can customize the effect more so we can create a nice sepia effect on this Im image we can get the colors right something like that and then select again the, the layer with the uh, texture itself and we can experiment with different blend modes and probably one of these will work the best um, let's just check probably hard light looked really good yeah I will probably keep hard light and this looks really like a vintage effect and um, if I want to see more of my friend's face I can always use a bit of dodge on that so I can select that layer and use the dodge tool and draw over it or if I want to do this non-destructively I can also do that by creating a new layer on top of his layer fill that in with a uh, gray scale 50% gray that was shift backspace to get the fill dialog box fill it in with gray then select overlay blend mode for that and use the dodge tool on that layer so I can dodge on a separate layer which makes it non-destructive so I can see a bit more of his face as well now and now if I want to see the rose in its original colors I can group these two layers together the black and white adjustment layer and the blended texture put them into a group okay and then on this group I'm going to create a mask and for that mask I am just going to draw over uh, with black so simply draw over with black and that will hide both the adjustment layer in the group and also the texture that I used for that vintage effect so as you can see it's quite simple again combine the techniques we already used before and by the way there's one more thing here what I would use I would use the rotate tool because I'm using a tablet a vacuum tablet it's much easier for me to draw from left to right than from top to uh, to the bottom uh, especially in this angle it's really not uh, convenient for me so I press and hold R turn the image around and then this uh, this line would be much easier to draw over so I'm not bothered about making a selection I just simply draw it over and maybe get rid of some details here on the edge so something like that if I press escape then I will switch back to normal rotation of the image and of course if I want to spend a bit more time I can always draw over the vase as well I can make selections and I can do whatever I want with this image and I can always shift click on the mask if I don't want to see the rose in colors and I want to keep everything with this vintage look so that's all I wanted to show you in this example once again we used auto align masking dodging on a separate layer and using blend modes to have a texture on top plus uh, the black and white adjustment layer using tint and that's all I wanted to show you today in the next tutorial I am going to show you how to design a postcard thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time